After playing four of the promotion contenders in their last five games, AFC Liverpool had what looked like an easier fixture away to relegation threatened Ashton Athletic. The hosts sat just one point in one place above the relegation zone, but had drawn their last two games against Norton United and Silsden. The match was dominated by the Reds, but in the early stages they struggled to create openings, with Ronnie Morgan's off-target shot their only attempt in the first 15 minutes. As the half wore on, AFC Liverpool increased the pace a little and came close to taking the lead when Sean Harris's centre had to be hooked off the line by Paul Casey. With confidence growing minute by minute, Francis Barry then decided to try his luck from 25 yards, but his effort was wide of the mark. A few minutes later, Neville Picton tried his luck from a similar distance, and his shot caused Steve Longrig more problems, as the keeper was forced to turn the effort behind for a corner. It was one-way traffic towards the athletic goal, and when Ronnie Morgan's cutback found Francis Barry, it required the intervention of Callum Jones to prevent the ball heading goalward. It was beyond the half hour mark before the home side had their first attempt, but when the ball fell to Martin Jackson on the edge of the box, he rather rushed his effort, which presented no problem for Sean Lake. Despite their dominance of the game, AFC Liverpool were being restricted to long range efforts, though with Stephen Jones on the pitch, that may not be so much of a problem. Shortly before the half-time break, Jones showed his quality once again. Picking the ball up 30 yards out, he waltzed his way to the edge of the box, played a 1-2 with James Buckley, before slotting the ball past Longrig with a shot on the turn. His celebrations though were short-lived, as the linesman raised his flag for offside, which, taking a look at the replay, appears to have been the wrong decision. Even from this angle you can see that Callum Jones is playing the red striker onside by at least a yard. Just before the interval, a similar move at the other end saw Gareth Grant take the ball to the edge of the Reds box before exchanging passes with Michael Downing. On getting the return though, Grant's touch was a little heavy, allowing Sean Lake to close the opportunity down. Ten minutes into the second half, the best chance of the match so far arrived when Steve Jones played in Francis Barry down the middle, but though the red striker aimed for the bottom corner, Steve Longrig did well to get down to it. Ashton Athletic were finding it difficult to create anything of their own, so when Mason Ryan won the ball off John Lawless and raced forward to collect the return pass, the home fans would have hoped for something more from the opportunity presented. The best chances AFC Liverpool were creating all appeared to be fallen to Francis Barry, who wasn't having the best of games, as evidenced by a tame shot that was easy for Longley. Having so much of the game, AFC Liverpool needed to guard against complacency, so when Michael Downing robbed Anthony Brown of the ball and fed Connor Gately, it looked as though the Reds might be punished, but a slip by Gately as he shot saw his effort drift wide. The breakthrough for AFC Liverpool eventually arrived on 79 minutes. Sean Harris's ball forward was flicked on by Francis Barry, and Ronnie Morgan powered his way through the athletic back line to blast emphatically past Longrig. It was Morgan's fourth goal of the season, and it showed the striker is no nonsense best. His manager later said that Morgan showed other people on the pitch how to finish. The game appeared to be drawing to an unremarkable conclusion, but in injury time, two significant things happened. 
Firstly, AFC Liverpool weren't awarded a penalty when James Waldron raised his arm blocking Ronnie Morgan's cross. The defender may claim in his defence that he was merely protecting his face, but how the referee failed to penalise him is only something he can answer. Ashton Athletic didn't dwell on their good fortune though and broke down the other end of the pitch. Connor Gately reached Robert Flint's flick on ahead of Sean Lake and though his shot was cleared off the line, Michael Downing followed up to secure what could prove to be a vital point for his side's survival. It was a cruel blow for AFC Liverpool who should have walked away with all three points but were instead left to ruin missed opportunities. Goal, uh, you've got to be disappointed you didn't take the three points. Oh, we're very disappointed, mate. very disappointed. Um, performance wise, it was an excellent performance. We've dominated the game for the whole of the 90 minutes, not come under any any pressure, any kind of problems. Um, and I think it's a simple thing that we haven't put, we haven't taken our chances and goals win games of football as we all know I know it's a cliche but it's true and after an hour that game should have been put to bed four or five goals everyone can relax we've got a goal and uh, conceded a very soft goal in the last few minutes and just disappointing mate everyone's very disappointed uh, you had a claim for a penalty 30 seconds before you conceded yeah there's a claim for a penalty um, players involved in there saying it's a penalty but it's the last few minutes of a game and you know we don't need to be committing that many you know that many numbers forward in the last minute we you know maybe it was a bit of naivety maybe it was just a bit of enthusiasm from our lads but kill the game there we kill the game and it's it's three points for us in uh, happy days but we haven't killed the game they've gone up the other end they've overloaded on the back post and uh, scrambled the goal in and a draw instead of a win for us but it's, it's about taking the chances for me and, we, and we've created some very good chances in this game and not finished them and you know we've kept Ashton in the game and they've they've robbed a point out of it. Again uh, Paul Moore's talked about the correct decision making a few occasions today what didn't quite happen again? Well yeah it, 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 the decision making was it was it was off and on. You know, a couple of times we've like we've kept the ball nicely, especially in the second half. We kept the ball really well. We had a good build up shape. We played through all all the thirds of the pitch, and we kept kept the ball quite nicely. And we were very patient in the uh, in the final third, and some great movement and some, and some good combinations. You know, as opposed to in the first half where we were mixing it up a little bit. Sometimes we were playing the ball a bit too quickly and we needed a little bit of patience. So in terms of decision making, I thought, you know, on the whole, I thought it was a good game. A good game, I thought we made the right decisions in the right areas in the second half. and Played quite quickly from the back and were patient, as I say, in the, in the final third. And created some good chances and, and, and created some good movements and some good combinations in there. But it, we couldn't finish it today, couldn't finish the job. Um, can you take any positives from the game? Um, well, we could, we've created a lot of chances in this game. I think that's uh, positive. You know, we hadn't been creating too many chances in the previous three or four games. Um, I thought our performance in the second half was first class. They haven't had a sniff. Uh, we've dominated possession. We've moved the ball quickly, efficiently, and. Uh, effectively as well you know we've, we've cut them open a fair few times so that was really pleasing because we haven't played like that for a, a good few weeks so if there is a positive to take out of it, it, it it's that that we've we've got back to our old sort of like possession game and, and, and dominating possession so that would be the uh, positive for me just got to uh, forget about the last minute uh, as you go into Tuesday's game against Blackpool well, I don't know. I don't know about forgetting about the last minute because you know that's happened in the last few games, and I think you know, I, I, I think it's it's concentration more than anything else that we, we just need to get the job done. You know, we just need to be aware of the fact that teams are going to be bombing forward and looking for an equaliser, and just to do our jobs and just to just to finish the game basically. And yeah, what more can you say? You seemed all set for the three points and then conceded in the last minute of injury time. 
Well, we've done that the last three games, four, haven't we? Uh, it's a case of lack of discipline, basically. Um, there's a minute to go, two minutes to go, whatever it is. Uh, all we've got to do is keep the ball in the corner. Uh, we decide to play. Uh, again, all my lads, for some reason, decided to go forward. Uh, they've just knocked the ball along, and we haven't dealt with them. Uh, but overall, absolutely dominated the game of football. But when it comes to it, you have to take your chances, and I've, we've had a many to put to put these to bed early doors. You can't miss chances, and you cannot afford to miss chances because, however good or bad the, the opponents are, they will get normally one chance and put it in. And when the chance did come for them, it took about three bites to put it in because they had that much time to put it in. Uh, I just thought I just lack of discipline at the end. Lack of discipline. Um. There was a penalty claim for the for you just before they conceded the goal. What was your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, you know, you can go on about the penalties, you know, over over a period and over the season, you'll probably get them. Uh, you know, that the penalty incident possibly should have said, oh yeah, it was a penalty, and you, you, you're getting the penalty. But saying that, you know, the referee hasn't given, it, but they should have been out of sight. For simple as that feels like a massive defeat. That and uh, at the moment, I'm just a little bit. Uh, down at the moment because we've played some of the best football we've had for a long, long time, a long time, um, and it's just I feel a little bit down at the moment. Is that a, play, uh, a lesson the players have got to learn? You better learn quickly, mate, uh, because you know, like I said, the, the past three games we've conceded the 85th, 86th, or 87th minute, and now the 91st minute, 92nd minute. Uh, You'll have to learn, mate. It's as simple as that. All it is now is just keeping your shape and your discipline. The last, you know, when you're going into the latter part of the game, you know, we've worked hard to get the one goal, even though it should have been a lot more. And you know, sometimes I think do you think it's too easy half the time. Uh, but I'm not going to say nothing away from our lads to, to, to a certain degree because we really played well at times. Did you feel the goal was never going to come for you today? I thought it possibly could have been one of them nights, uh, one of them days. Uh, but we kept on plugging on. You know, we've had, uh, like I said, we've had earlier chances than that. But to be fair to Ronnie Morgan, I think he showed one or two there how to finish. Uh, because it's no nice to see with Ronnie. He's belted it. And once you belt goals, you know, the, the keeper's got no chance. Uh, but, you know, we'll just plod on again. Uh, the positives uh, over the last few weeks have, the, have been the performances. Yeah, the performance has been there, Paul. But, you know, again, you know, you, you look at it where we've created a lot of chances, especially in this game. And over the period, over the last couple of games, you know, but we've only scored one in five games now. I think it is. Um, so it's something that we we'll have to look at. Uh, but you know, the chances will come back because I'd start morning big time, mate. If we stop, uh, if, we're not, if we're not creating them, but we're creating them, so that's a positive. And, and again, you know, being one of them games where we've dominated, uh, but we've just switched off the last minute. There's a week ahead. Uh, game Tuesday, game Thursday, gonna be. Need all your squad available for that? Yeah, uh, they'll all be getting used again. Um, but depending, obviously, especially in midweek games, whether who works, who don't work, um, you know, I've just been told one or two possibly working. So, you know, I might just have the, uh, the bear 12, bear, bear 14, but whatever I put out, mate, they'll have a go. Uh, and I know one thing, they'll always try and play the football the way they did today. Uh, so, we'll just go, we'll put this to bed and we'll go Tuesday up to Blackpool.